All right, guys, welcome back to the Lucky Pierre's Movie Reviews. We got another movie review for you tonight. This one is called Sick of Myself. All right, Sick of Myself. Let me just read the plot. Hold on a second now. Joe Pick. <laughs> I'm just saying, it was a Joe Pick. Yeah. Okay, Sick of Myself. I will go ahead and read you the plot of this film. Increasingly overshadowed by her boyfriend's recent rise to fame as a contemporary artist creating sculptures from stolen furniture, Signe, I think that's how you say her name, hatches a vicious plan to reclaim her rightfully deserved attention within the milieu of Oslo's cultural elite. Rightfully deserved is what it says in there? It says, that's what it says, her wow. rightfully deserved attention. Okay. Because so, <laughs> in, in her mind it is. Yeah. <clears throat> or I can read you a different... I guess plot description. Signe and Thomas are in an unhealthy competitive relationship. Oh, it's so unhealthy. That takes a vic- vicious turn when Thomas suddenly breaks through as a contemporary artist. In response, Signe makes a desperate attempt to regain her status by creating a new persona, hell bent on attracting attention and sympathy. That one's better. That one's more yeah. fitting. But yeah, oh. just terrible people. Oh, yeah. awful people. But I mean, probably the most least. Probably the most hateable protagonist ever, maybe ever in a film. She's up there. One of the ha- most hateable there. protagonists ever in a film. She's extremely narcissistic. and like she, Beyond anything. Oh, anything. and she's attention hungry. Yeah. And just, um, just, yeah, just, just, just not a good person. Yeah. And b- b- the part of this is a uh, social commentary, social media satire, yeah. uh, dark comedy, psychological drama. Whatever genre you want to put it in, it it held my attention. Black comedy. Yeah, black comedy. Well, yeah, comedy. It, it it holds your attention the, because the it's, Norwegians it, it's, love yeah. black comedy. I compare it to like watching a train wreck. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It holds your attention in that way. But I like that it just ramps it up to ten, like immediately. It, yeah, it's so warped that it, it keeps it, going. Like it does. It, that's the thing, though. It's like people do go crazy far for attention in this world. It does blow it a little bit out of proportion, but it gets that point across. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I get what you're saying, but yeah. People will like damage themselves and their reputation and everything just for some attention and for clicks. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy, man, but so yeah. Even like so basically what she does is she like manufactures her like An health illness. crisis. Okay. She does a lot of well, stuff for, for yeah. attention. Yeah. Well, I just, I just uh, weird Norwegian humor is usually up my alley. Like it's a weird like corner of film that I'm really I do love, like weird. What else is Norwegian? dry black Norwegian humor? Um, out cold or not? Out, is that I've never what, seen it? No, the Liam Cold Pursuit. Yeah. Okay, I've never seen the that. The original one. is Norwegian, and then the Cold Pursuit is just like a shot for shot remake, but what for Americans? Are they good? That movie they're killed good. me. Yeah, I, I think good. I saw it two or three times in theaters. Oh wow! I, I died. You saw it with me once, didn't you? Uh, nope. Oh. It is extremely dry comedy. Mm. It does have some funny parts in it. You can't help but laugh at some of the stuff. <laughs> seriously, but some of the reactions are so good. Seriously, I, th- I thought everything was well, like was crafted and done really well. Mm-hmm. But every single person in the movie is so insufferable. Yeah. Oh my that god. That I think it did take away from it for me. But I get that's the point. <laughs> right, but I that, do think like if they were, it was a point. little bit different. I would have like it would have been. I loved it. Yeah. But uh, it. It is, a, it is a tough watch because literally it's, every it's, single person is so unlikable. Not yeah. everyone, but like the, some of the people, I mean, like the dude that snaps on her with the dog is very Oh, that cool. guy's like that. That, guy great, yeah. that guy's great. Get away from my fucking dog. <laughs> yeah, he calls her the C word yeah. multiple times. But, yeah. uh, I, it Rightfully bears, so. Yeah. It bears repeating that this is the movie that people expected and deserved from the title The Worst Person in the World, yeah. which is the movie that came out before it. Yeah. And that really was just about like a girl who like cheated on a boyfriend basically like it was nothing crazy it was a selfish girl yeah and i was like this is the movie i expected going into a movie called the worst person in the world yes but yes. there is a scene in the movie that kills it for me huh. when she's getting her ct scan results oh and that guy's talking like, to her but like it's not obviously she's not, like an unreliable narrator yes so like it's not what he's actually saying but no. it's what she's hearing him say yeah and he's like uh, he says it's quite shocking you've apparently abused illegal drugs that's the reason you've gotten sick we see a general pattern and then he go, then it like 
you can tell the focus shifts and yes. he goes you lie a lot you have a bad personality you're not the coolest person no at sense parties. of humor your sense of humor is bad as well particularly how you perform racist caricatures <laughs> in the mirror for your own amusement <laughs> i haven't seen that on a ct scan for quite some time <laughs> when we find this much we simply have to call the police <laughs> they're outside and ready to immediately execute <laughs> i was doctor. laughing yeah the doctor says to her when he's reading her like her cat scan result <laughs> immediately and execute that, like, you. i rewatched the scene right. i was like this is the best part of the movie <laughs> it was one of the best yeah, scenes yeah so like what sh- she did was she did research and found like a, a medicine drug, a drug that yeah. was illegal in Norway, but not somewhere else. And so she, causing tons of side so effects. So she bought it online Skin condition side to effects. get side effects. Yeah. Yes, to get attention. And yeah. then it deformed her. Like, she was deformed. So basically, she started small and saying that she had that nut allergy. Yes. And then she had to actually, like, follow through because she was getting this attention. Like, like she was eating off her boyfriend's plate. And they're like, I are you sure you can eat like that? The, the chef was watching. Like, yeah. <laughs> 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 He's like chicken back and like, hey. All right. I love that she had to like follow through on it. I do because think everyone talking was... about it right now is making me like it even more. Yeah. It's so it's funny parts like just throughout. Their their relationship cracked me up. Some of the stuff he would do and she would act that way. Like when she got that disease, it's like, it's not contagious, right? <laughs> and he like stood away. He's like, yes, for like four times. I'm sure it's not contagious. Yeah. They're both so just not. Uh, Caring of the others, no, I yeah, guess, it was such problems a toxic or, uh, relationship, yeah, oh, zero empathy, and oh man, it's crazy, man. It's like the most, yeah, it is the most unhealthy relationship, maybe like one of the most unhealthy I've ever and seen. I loved in a movie. When she was like getting the recognition and getting like the magazine cover and using his chairs, he's like, Can you get my chairs out of the shots? Because I, <laughs> I don't want those involved with you, yeah. He's we like don't want it to it be out. the same aesthetic. <laughs> yeah, it's too similar. <laughs> oh. oh, but man. But it is also a commentary on like mental illness, right? Yeah. Because that is a, a, a big epidemic because of like social media and whatnot. There I is mean. people like that that do that. There are people. Attention. I mean, that might take, take it to a little bit of an extreme, but there are people that will do anything for attention. Oh, yeah. Anything. And, sure. and if they get it, that's, that's the yeah, win. For them. That's the win. That's... That's a, a terrible. That's the way of the world, but that's how it's going. You know what I mean? And that chef killed me, though. That, sh- <laughs> that chef was funny, man. Everything she did, he, once she said another allergy, he's like, <laughs> he's like locked in. Like, do not eat from his thing. I do, I do think the filmmakers got their point across pretty effectively, though, and what they were trying to, I guess, convey. Yeah. yeah. You know? What was it that got her feeling so, like, <laughs> she was on, like, cloud nine, but yet she was, like, disfigured? I think it was because she was... Uh, what had happened? She got the interview or she something? Got that, like modeling agency. Yeah. Yes, the modeling gig. That yeah. whole thing was cracking me up. Just, like yes. they put little stuff in there, like was killing me. <laughs> they had like the blind chick like running into stuff, knocking stuff over. <laughs> like. And the I hate to say it, but the hand stuff was funny, man. Oh yeah, absolutely. <sighs> I'm not gonna leave it. <laughs> I like got that. <laughs> uh, Wasn't the uh, one of the models was like a Down syndrome girl, right? No, there was no Down syndrome girl. I think she was just... The, one of them was, like, blind, I believe. One was blind, and then one of them had a hand disfigured. Yeah. Uh, you know. <laughs> and she uh, she locked her in the bathroom to get more yeah, picture that, time. Because she was getting the attention. Yes, and sh- she needed that attention. Crazy movie. I mean, originality gets a 10 out of 10. I've never seen anything like it, really. <laughs> it's um, about as twisted as you can get with a character. It really is. I mean, it's, like, the most just narcissistic oh the coffee shop was when she got like super excited and that person like was bleeding she's like I saw oh, I yeah, she, she witnessed I the murder him. or the death yeah, yeah. The guy i was the only one yeah that stepped in and yeah she had the blood on her she was like all excited like oh god yes i'm about to take a shower <laughs> <laughs> and she came into the apartment and she was like looking at him waiting for her to give that attention yep. and he wouldn't turn around and think it was her blood right oh no it's not mine i just saved somebody a lot of the scenes were just like yeah you're just uncomfortable like just to make you hate them yeah it just it just makes you this is like uh there's feel good movies this is kind of like a feel bad movie like i I didn't feel good for like any of it you know pretty funny though it is pretty funny it's just a super dark twisted uh comedy satire type type deal and it's got some pretty nasty effects in it too like practical effects yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah as far as makeup goes and whatnot that actually looked really really good like yeah. real at least you know and um 
yeah, this movie's just ki- kind of kind of a, a hard watch, but but interesting nonetheless. I found it like halfway through. I was like, this is kind of a fun watch. It's just kind of <laughs> just how messed up these characters are. It's yeah, funny. yeah. I did feel that as well. I mean, it, it did have a lot of redeeming qualities and stuff. I mean, obviously I, you I, hate I, them, but like, I wouldn't watch it again. Yeah. Once is enough, but like it's definitely it keeps you intrigued and engaged throughout. Just to see what personally. they're gonna do next. What she's yeah. gonna do next? Just, just how far is she gonna take this? Not, yeah, <laughs> right. How far is this gonna go? And then you start thinking of people like in the real world that this person could, they they could be like modeling this person off of, like just so many so many of their interactions I would want to watch again because the way he reacted to her stuff was just like eh, it's fine yeah like, whatever <laughs> she's like dying he's like you should, all right cool <laughs> well, I got right. a magazine to you today though so you're gonna leave this room <laughs> <laughs> yeah you should go you got, you mean you went to the doctor oh, that's good or whatever <laughs> but um yeah that was it was it was good it was good uh any other thing you guys want there's to add? another one your girl from lamb yeah she's in a norwegian movie? yeah she's in a norwegian movie called i think it's just called the trip okay and it's like that like yeah dark it's on netflix norwegian. Yeah. yeah is it good dude i loved that movie it's like <laughs> i love new weird movie. dark norwegian comedy yeah like comedy Black horror. comedy and then triangle movie, sadness man. that was like <laughs> i have mixed feelings on that movie but it, it was it had i haven't it, seen that but one review i said was it said like everything that movie didn't do this one did like it took it further i guess but I haven't seen this before. definitely took it further. Oh yeah, definitely. I feel it, it's not. It was. I feel like that wasn't That's the more purpose of like Triangle of Sadness. Triangle of Sadness was kind of show like the absurdity of like wealthy people, kind of. Yeah. There were some great moments in that movie, dude. I and, loved it, man. I it, it did have some good moments, but something about it just it was kind of slow. But whatever. Uh, yeah, you guys want to get to ratings on this? Sure. This movie. You guys go ahead. I gave it like a seven because it had some legitimate, like laugh out loud moments for me, which is rare for any kind of comedy. But if they're this warped, it gets me. Yeah, yeah. And insane things happen. I'm like, that's pretty freaking funny. And yeah. it's very original. Yeah. Yeah, I gave I gave it an eight, and it was in the honorable mentions. Like every year, I do the stupid list on line, uh-huh. and it was in my honorable mentions for 2023. Like, I just yeah. didn't. I it wanted. Is good. I wanted to love it, but it was good. Yes, like, and it was made good. Very well, like made, very well made. Yeah, like made much better than you would expect for like a movie with that content. For sure, it was made really well. I don't think it's like a fun watch, but I think if you watch it more than once, you're gonna get more like you're just gonna see more funny stuff. Out I think of it. we might have to watch it together. <laughs> I mean, I'll Maybe. watch it again. <laughs> yeah, seriously, I enjoyed it, but I gave it a seven. It's it's good. It's it's a it's a kind of a yeah. It's not a fun watch, like you said. But go in with like a kind of like a uh, uh, yeah. God did, well I, God did I twisted sense him. of humor? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the dialogue is very good. Man. It is. It, this, I mean, the, the way they made it is just really good. Yeah. You know, it's I just do very have well a made. fancy v- version of it that like a uh, vinegar syndrome company put out. You own it or do you? Okay, I, I'll I'll use that in here. But uh, anyway, that's our review, guys. Of uh, sick of myself. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Final recommendation. Watch it ASAP, watch it whenever, or skip it. Whenever. Well, I, di- I didn't know it was streaming for free, so yeah, watch it ASAP. Yeah. You guys think watch it ASAP? I'd say whenever, but... I'll say whenever as well. it's definitely not for everybody. I only yeah, found watch- that out because you said it's streaming. Oh, oh yeah. Right. Watch it whenever, guys. This one is uh, not for everyone, but that's a lot of movies we watch, but it's definitely worth a watch. So check that one out, guys. I mean, and let us know what you review, think in the comments. Anything we review, if it's free, I say, I'm going to say watch it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, easy access. <laughs> right. is it, what is it streaming on? I don't even know. Uh, it's on I think uh, Prime. No, it's I think it's on uh, Paramount Plus or uh, or um, that's like under Prime on Showtime. Yeah, Showtime. I think it's on Showtime actually. Because I had to subscribe to something. When are they going to take that Showtime app away? Did they yet? No. Because every to time, to that every time you use it, they're like, "This is, it's getting taken away. <laughs> Upgrade your Paramount because yeah. this is going away. And they just always say they're that. They're all whores for money. But anyway, guys, thanks Whoa. for watching. That's our review. And we'll see you on the next one.